Welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the thanks button. Oh, the Washington Commanders are in last place again. The season haven't even started yet. A company named Betway analyzed 30 NFL stadiums based on social media comments as to the cleanliness of them. Well, number one was Indianapolis. Nice folks in Indianapolis. They all sing the national anthem. I, I was always impressed when I went there how patriotic that town was. And I guess they're very clean people, too. Uh, number two, Detroit. You know, well, that's kind of a new stadium, so I guess they haven't trashed it yet. Uh, number three, Carolina. There's trash on the field, but I guess not in the stands. So people in Carolina are very nice. My family's from there. Number four, Baltimore. All right. The Ravens fans know how to throw away the bottles. And number five, Jacksonville. Oh, okay. Well, there's nobody there. So how dirty can it be? Going down the list, Dallas is 11. Philly, 13. Philly, 13. 22 is uh, New York Giants and the Jets who share a stadium. 29 is LA, which shares it with the, you know, the Chargers and the Rams. Uh, and then number 30 is your Washington Commanders. I don't know, man. Maybe in the past more, but I don't really see it as a dirty place. You know, it, grime, it used to be grimy more, but last year, Haskin, uh, Harris, I should say, Harris, you know, spent some money on the place. So sometimes impressions take a long time to change, and people base this stuff on past things they've seen. I remember one walkway that I take from the tunnel up to the press box it really had become a grimy kind of place over all these years. And last year when I went there opening day, it had been power washed. And the place looked, you know, respectable. So I'm sure they did that throughout the stadium. They're working on it. They got new duct tape on things. You know, they replaced duct tape with higher stuff. I guess they fixed things. But it takes a while. You know, all everybody hears is that open, that broken sewer pipe years, years ago. I don't know. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. I'll see you soon.